This is Jamie Beckland at Whitehorse, and today we're showing you Adobe's new implementation called Wallaby. It's uh, new from Adobe Labs, and it converts Flash into HTML5. Here you can see we have a banner that we created for Kroger grocery stores, and we've gone through the conversion process, and you can see there's a number of unsupported features. So this isn't going to 100% convert everything that you have uh, from Flash into HTML5. Here you can see we have two layers of text that overlay each other. But it is good for simple timeline animations and what we need to do here is go through and do a little bit of cleanup. And Lars Jacobson, one of our Flash engineers, is working through that process right now. So first he's opening up that Flash file and he's going to get rid of a couple of the, the click tag and also one of the text masks. Um, and that's going to allow us to um, not have those two layers of text overlay each other. Um, also, it can't support the click tag, so that means that uh, after the banner is done playing, there's not going to be any ability to click out from that banner, so we'll have to add that functionality in later. So uh, you can see, uh, once we have the flash file updated, we'll go through the conversion process again. Wallaby is pretty straightforward, just grab the file, uh, drop it into the Wallaby program and click convert. It's just a one button convert and you can see the output of that um, is a HTML file, a CSS file, and a JavaScript file. So now we have that new HTML file. We'll take a look at that and we'll see that the text drags in after the truck. So that's good. Now he's clicking in there but still there's no uh, click through URL. So we got rid of that click tag earlier, and now we just have to go in and add it into the HTML itself. Um, we think that this is a great technology to help lessen the timeline for um, production for HTML5 compliant banners, and that means that we're going to be able to deliver a traditional banner right into an iPad or an iPod or an iTouch, any iOS device that doesn't support Flash currently. So we're getting that click tag added in. And now when we go ahead and play that, you can see it clicks through to a valid URL, and there's the Whitehorse website. This was Jamie Beckland uh, with Lars Jacobson, Flash Engineer at Whitehorse, going through how to create HTML5 content from Flash using Adobe's new tool from Adobe Labs called Wallaby.